Hello everybody, Ken Surfs here. It's Friday, time for another shave. I'm gonna be bringing out uh, one of the, wham, one of the favorite razors that I've purchased of modern production, and that is the Rockwell 6S. And I believe I have plate number two on there right now. I'm gonna be uh, using this today. Had a lot of requests when you bring bringing back the Rockwell. And a lot of you said, the 6S versus the 6C, uh, I, I honestly haven't tried the 6C. I believe the gaps are all the same. It's just that the S is stainless. So when I purchased this a few years ago, uh, I wanted to get uh, the stainless tried out. Nice heavy razor, no issues, no issues. For the blade today, Astra, green. Gonna be loading that up. I'll set that right there. I've been, uh, Someone had commented, you guys must watch this show. I watch it on my phone, but maybe you guys watch it on your big screen because you're really good. You notice uh, stuff back here. And I've got the Creed back there, the original Creed. And I use it for special occasions because it's too damn expensive. And I wouldn't recommend paying that much money for, uh, for Creed. But there are some alternatives, and I'm going to be using the alternatives today, which smell very similar. Uh, from Captain's Choice, I'm going to be using the Venture Shaving Cream. And from Find, the Platinum. And you probably see, I use this a lot. This Simoog from Portugal, Owner's Club. I've not had any trouble with this brush, man. It's, I've had this thing for years. It's really a really nice brush. Uh, a, a good one to have in the collection, that's for sure. Put it into the crystal skull. And uh, I was catching up uh, last night and this morning on some of the comments and a lot of comments still. Where do I get the Crystal Skull? And all you have to do is search for Crystal Skull Candle Holder, and you can look on eBay or Amazon, but I got mine from Home Goods uh, around Halloween. Uh, they had them at Home Goods. I think Marshalls and TJ Maxx have them, but uh, if you want one now, I do believe you can get them online on eBay and Amazon. You just have to search for Crystal Skull Candle Holder. All right. Let's load this bad guy up. Right. Yeah, this razor, probably the Parker variant and the Mercure Progress are some of the more modern adjustables that, that, that I use quite frequently. All right, we'll take out the uh, Astro Blade. We'll load this up. There's a gentleman, uh, I replied to an email, I believe he's coming out with a web-based magazine called Shave. And he said, hey man, can I do a Zoom interview with you later on this month for uh, the Shave magazine? He's looking into wet shaving and stuff. So cool, man, I can't wait. So I'll fill you in more on that uh, when I learn more. All right, Astro Blade. Put this in here in case you've never seen the... Uh, And there is the two. If you've never seen the Rockwell 6S loaded, there we go. The Rex Ambassador, another good, uh, another good adjustable razor. In fact, I just gave one of those away in uh, one of the last giveaways. A really nice razor made here in the U.S. All right. Well, I'm going to try face lathering today. Because uh, this venture is actually a soft cream. So I'm going to see about just getting a little on the end of the brush. Let's see if it'll work. There we go. There's the scent right away. Smells like Creed to me. <laughs> Man. This uh, smooth brush is thirsty. I try to keep it out of my nose this time. There we go. Hope you're having a good week. Weekend is here, man. Excellent, excellent. I 
I think the end is almost in sight, right? With this COVID. I mean, the inoculations are getting out there. I don't know how it is in the rest of the world, but uh, here in Southern California, they're starting to roll them out. In fact, Dodger Stadium and Disneyland, uh, you can go and, uh, you know, get your shots by appointment, of course. And I think it's the, uh, the essential workers and the older folks that are getting them now. All right. The only observation, and it's nothing, but uh, the stainless steel does get a little bit of rust on it. And uh, I have a little Dremel with a brass brush on it, just takes this right off. And it's probably because I put it away wet. But that's the only observation I've ever seen about uh, the stainless razor. Dude, that's hardly cutting at all. We're going to change it up. We're going to go to plate four, which is the other side of this. See? Four. Yeah, that, was, that wasn't cutting at all. All right, we're now on setting four. Let's try that. Oh, big difference. And that is what I've been telling you. It's the blade razor combo that works for you. That might have, setting two might have just been perfect for somebody else. But for me, I needed a little bit more blade gap to knock down most of it. Yeah. Yeah, it was funny. Hardly took any off on setting two. Now, had I had a feather blade in there, that probably would have worked perfect. So some people say, hey man, uh, do you ever abort the mission on the shave? Well, I just did, on setting two. It would have been a terrible shave for me. Now we're getting somewhere. I know a lot of you own Rockwells, so uh, a lot of people might be reading the comments. So if you put in what your blade and uh, base plate settings are that work for you, a lot of people will get some tips from you, and uh, me too. So if you have a good combo that works, man, please mention it in the comments. Uh, we've got that new laptop computer. So my son, uh, for my birthday, he got me Resident Evil 7. So, of course, I had to catch up with the franchise. So for the last three nights, my daughter and me have been uh, Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going through the series. Kind of fun. And that game. Got the headphones on him opening doors and jumping, man, those things. It's, that game's like a shock game. It's, it's made to scare you. Nice. So yeah, if I was in a hurry, I'd be out the door right now. Be out the door, uh, shave complete. But we're going to make it about 13 minutes and uh, hang out with you for a little longer. See what you're up to. I'm waiting for some new movies to come out. The only ones that I've seen now are Tom. Well, I haven't seen it, but that are out are like Tom and Jerry. And hell, I might watch it. I'm bored. I'm waiting for a quiet place too. And of course, the next James Bond movie, but I want to see that in the movie theater. I don't want to see that home on the couch. No thanks. One of you gentlemen suggested that I try the new, uh, soap, shave soap from Gillette. 
uh, for wet shavers. I guess you can use a brush on it. Uh, Planet Kind by Gillette. I couldn't find it on Amazon, but I ended up finding it on Gillette.com and, you know, eight bucks. I'll try it out, see how it works. I prefer the vintage Gillettes, but it's nice to see them coming out with DE razors, DE blades, and now if we're coming out with a soap in a container like a can, like a little puck, yeah, it's a good sign. Maybe the rest of the world will follow and start releasing more razors and DE products. I don't know if Gillette ever had a shave brush. You figure they would. I have not owned one. But I don't know if they actually did. I know back then it was ever ready, was everywhere. That didn't cut me. You can't go wrong, man, with a rock web. Perfect. Oh, and uh, somebody asked, they said, hey, man, uh, and you know, you're absolutely right. Let me clean this off. Someone's been using baby powder in here and dust went everywhere. The Polo Red, uh, I can't find it in aftershave anymore. It's all Uday Toilet, but this is actually, if you can see that, this is aftershave. Because one of the guys said, hey, man, sure that's not EDT you're putting on? No, man. That is aftershave. I don't know if they still make it or not, but I think I used it in one of the previous shaves and there was a lot, there was some comments on that. See, so that blade combo worked for me. The previous combo did not work. So we aborted the mission. <laughs> All right, platinum. Put some in my hand here. Oh, oh yeah. Wife will like that smell, that's for sure. And it lasts a good while, too. So there we go. <laughs> Friday shave under the belt. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. And I do look forward to doing another shave very soon. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you all again, maybe in two days or so. So stay safe. Thanks for watching. Take care.